into any Halloween character, you're going to want to really prime your skin. That's because some Halloween makeup can potentially clog your pores or it's just not what your skin's used to. So prime your skin first. I'm just using Elf's Mineral Primer. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just want to be able to apply this pretty generously, fill in all my pores, and kind of just protect my skin for what's to come. The bulk of the metallic face is going to be created with a cream eyeshadow. So if you don't have time to get to a Halloween specialty store, or maybe it's not even Halloween time and it's harder to find that type of stuff, um, I'm just using Maybelline's uh, cream shadows. They are the color tattoo and I love these eyeshadows. This color, um, because we're doing a robot, is silver and it's called Silver Strike. I'm going to take my cream shadow here a buffing brush or a flat top kabuki. I'm going to start to pick up the product and start to buff it all over. Okay, for the eyes and lips, I'm going to use a cream shadow pencil actually because it's hard to get the cream shadow to really stick to your lips. This is by NYX, it's their jumbo eye pencil which are just awesome for Halloween makeup in general. They have tons of colors. This is called Pots and Pans and it's just a very similar metallic silver to the cream shadow. So I'm going to draw it on my lips just like I would a lipstick and also fill in my entire eyelid, eyebrows even a uh, waterline underneath the eyes. apply a silver powder shadow over the cream shadow on my lids just so they don't crease. Um, if you were a robot per se, uh, you would likely be made of different plates. Um, so you can kind of imagine that your cheekbone were a plate, your jawline were attached, and so we're going to kind of draw out those lines. So I just put a little bit of glitter adhesive on my finger, I'm going to dip it into some loose glitter, and then I'm just going to press this on the high points of my face just like I were highlighting. define the crease of the eye a little bit with a sparkly black powder shadow, just a tiny bit. I'm going to outline the eye a little bit just to really define the eye socket. I kind of felt like this robot would still wear a winged out cat eye, so I'm going to do that too. I'm going to 
apply mascara. <laughs> apply false lashes as well just because we want to exaggerate this as much as possible for a fun little finishing touch um, I'm actually going to apply some little stick-on rhinestones these are kind of meant to look like lights on a circuit board and it's kind of nice if you have different sizes you can make um, little, little clusters around your eyes or just kind of put them in a random order So if you want to make this look even more futuristic and creepy and crazy, you can use the liquid eyeliner like I did to draw barcodes and circuit boards. And this is just totally free form, whatever you want to do. Um, you don't have to do this step at all, but I just felt like I wanted to add even more of that robotic, non-human element. <laughs> 